Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the VHS playing cards from Steven Gistelis and Classics playing cards. Classic playing cards, toys of the past found in the future. Hey, this was a Kickstarter project. It was successfully funded, and these are the cards in my hot little hands. Uh, this deck, of course, is devoted to the theme of the VHS cassette. VHS, uh, kids, if you don't know, uh, was the video home system, all right? It was a standard consumer level analog video recording that was on tape, yes tape cassettes. Uh, originally it was developed by the Victor Company of Japan, which is JVC if you don't know, uh, and it was way back in the 1970s. It was released in Japan in the late uh, 1976 and came out later in the USA in 1977. I remember these little cassette boxes, we had them all over the house and you put stickers on them and you'd say, oh, you know, I recorded Battlestar Galactica on this one and I recorded Buck Rogers on this one and my kids clarinet recital on this one and they were all in these little tapes across the front where you'd write and so you'd know which one was which and you'd slide them out this way, okay? And it was really cool, the tuck box slides out this way too. The tuck box is made to look like an old vintage VHS cassette, it's all binged up and dinged up like you'd expect. The front of the tuck case is 52 playing cards, high standard video cassette VHS. The other side, the side, one side says 52 VHS, and then the front, like I said, is that little sticker with the, even the handwritten scrawl right there in the front, the VHS playing cards of volume one. The top says poker, and the bottom has some ad copy about expert playing cards and collectible playing cards. It is a side loading tuck, and that is it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Expert Playing Card Company, and they are done on their master finish. Now, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. The best thing I can do is measure them for you with a caliper, and then let you know uh, how they compare in thickness and feel to other playing cards maybe that you've held or owned in the past. 10 of these cards in the caliper comes to 2.99. 2.99 is on par with the Arcana deck that Bicycle put out, the Honeybee deck that Penguin released, uh, the Superior Blacks from Expert, and the Bloodlines. The back design is really simple. It is just a VH cassette with a rainbow border, and uh, it's beautiful. All the cards are sketched onto a black grid pattern. Uh, they chose that uh, because it just looked retro and it fitted the colors uh, and everything pops uh, like old 80s graphics. Your Ace of Spades is a large turquoise pip that simply says VHS right there in the center. Your two jokers, although not exactly 80s graphics, nor are they VHS graphics, are really old school pop icon clowns. Your pips and indice cards are all stylized, like they were drawn on a chalkboard with chalk. And your black suits are white, and your red suits are red. Your court cards are all a haunting shadow uh, negative image uh, that's done in turquoise, uh, but they're still standard, they're still gonna be recognizable, and I think this deck would still work great for gameplay and flourishing. All right, so that's my review of the VHS playing cards from Classic Playing Cards. I got my deck from rareplayingcards.com, and if you would like to purchase yours, you can find this deck and many other of your very favorites at rareplayingcards.com. Thanks, bye. Ooh, clown.